Yo, what's going on guys? Nate back with another video. Today is going to be the insects guide. Now, in the insects guide, we're going to be talking about the ants, soldier ants, alphids, gnats, grubs, larvas, stink bugs, weevils, bombardier beetles, and ladybugs. Um, I'm also going to be making another guide which may come out today or tomorrow. It's going to be on the insects and bugs that are not yet in the game but will be coming soon so first of all let's get straight into it so we're going to go in with the ant now the ant is the most common creature and there's three types of ants worker ants soldiers and larvas after the player establishes a base or a large structure on the map ants see you as a threat they'll become hostile and they'll become like attacks will occur, occur during the nights worker ants are most often found wandering the surface in a, uh, and passive until hit any ant that sees you attack another ant will also become hostile passive ants will also sometimes steal food from, from straight from your inventory and maybe get an interest in your basic storage if not properly isolated in a closed construction if so the storage will be marked with an icon of goggles and it is and sooner or later, worker ants will come and steal some of its content, including non-food items. This will occasionally bring you sap. Worker ants can often be seen attacking weevils when killed. Worker ants provide ant parts and sometimes ant heads for crafting resources, and they have a health pool of 120. Now, soldier ants. Soldier ants are found inside ant hills. They're hostile on on sight and will attack. When killed, they provide ant mandibles and acid glands as a crafting resource the health pool is 350 and when you first kill them you can unlock the tier 2 hammer a little point on top of that if you have um an armor the soldier ants are passive to players now on to aphids or aphids or whatever you pronounce it the i'm going to pronounce it aphid the aphid is a passive insect often found on the ground or the grass it will immediately run away when it sees the player they have occasionally leave aphid honeydew on the ground their health pool is only 12 Although aphid, uh, aphids are also small and difficult to spot, ladybugs often hunt them, which allow players to follow them to aphids' locations. When killed, the aphid provides raw aphid meat as a crafting resource. Now, moving on to the gnat. Now, the gnat is a small flying insect within the world of grounded. It is often found near standing water. Although the gnat is considered hostile, it cannot damage the player. It will never give up the chase or running away. It is not an option, as it is with other animals. When killed, the gnat provides gnat fuzz and raw gnat meat as a crafting resource, and I can tell you now, gnat fuzz is needed. Moving on to the grubber rubber grubber. The sweet grubber dub 3000. The grub is an underground creature that requires a shovel to find. It can be found by viewing disturbances in the diet or either the surface of caves. Once dug up, the player will have to kill it in order to harvest it. Grubs are docile and will die in a couple of hits, depending on the player's weapons tools of choice. It drops grub, goop, hide, and meat upon harvest. We're not doing the trivia, because we're not that type of guy. Moving on to the lava, which is apparently classed as an ant. Larvas are a small, uh, similar size as a regular ant, but are more kind to real life lawn lace lacewing larvae, nicknamed Alfred Wolves due to their diet and ferocity. They are six legged and have hard hitting pincer jaws. If it detects a player, it will attack. The larva may attack, start attacking the player at night. They can come in major swarms and can easily overwhelm the players. Don't I know about that? Jeez. They have uh, vicious attacks against players and their base. They are able to destroy grass buildings more than seconds due to the numbers and the combat with the player fares no better. Unarmored players can be taken out in a handful of blows. Now their behaviour is the larva is also uh, also sleeps most of the daytime. Bullshit. They are also hostile to players on site and attack in swarms. However, they have been known to appear during the day and attack bases as well. This may be a bug. Exactly. It is a bug because I've seen them during the day. It is also speculated that lava may attack the player from the storage containers as these are the stated as being not as secure. This is still yet to be confirmed, but some players have mentioned this to be the case. The counter and strategy for these are lava appear only at night in groups, apparently. If the player sleeps through the night before they appear, they shouldn't they shouldn't be attacked. However, it is possible for them to still be there when to, or to, bleh, to still be spawned when they awake. However, this seems only uh they only seem to attack the players and not the base. If planning to fight them, it's advised to have strong armor and weapons. A good choice of weapon for these pests is a club as it has the ability to stun them, leaving them open for you to finish them off. They have a lair east of the first science dome, primitively attacked, attacking uh, primitively attacking them and thinning their numbers makes them easier at night. Thank you. Moving on to that stinky little bugger, the stink bug. More to be coming soon, apparently, but stink bugs are one of the larger creatures in the game. They can encounter, they look like to the real life brown marmorated stink bugs. They're also quite big in comparison to the player. 
They are hostile on sight of the player, however, if the player is above them somewhere, they cannot reach them off the ground. They act intrigued to the player, similar to how ants and ladybugs assess the player. This could be a bug. Stink bugs tend to stick near to each other in groups and generally keep themselves stinking out the area and laying around. Their health pool is around 548 and 551 at the exact number, varies from one to another, and this is a similar health pool to the orb weaver spider. Now the little weevil, the little squid word looking dude. The weevil is instantly identif uh, identifiable by its small size, its all black colour and its adorable wobbly snout, the rostrum. If killed, the nose is important to make the gas mask, so you can go into the gassy area. The behaviour. The weevil is known to wander the central of the backyard, often walking in a straight line, its nose wobbling towards the floor. It looks like it's scanning the ground in search of microscopic vegetal organisms which should compromise of its primary diet when it encounters an obstacle if it tries it'll try to walk to it for a few seconds stop for a few seconds if it spots if it's in a spot to think about for the next few seconds then proceeds to walk the other way the only it's the only thing it's really good at turning towards another direction and walking straight in the line it's interaction with the player is the weevil doesn't seem to care about the player if one does put itself in its path the weevil will treat the player as any other obstacle by trying to continue straight in a straight line for a few seconds pause and turning and going on about its business if attacked the weevil will flee from the player okay then that, that little squid word dude's a piece of poop now the bombardier beetle Bombardier beetle can be found in most parts of the garden, a little larger than the player, and it will attack on sight. When killing it for the first time, you'll unlock the tier 2 axe. Trust me, you're going to want to get loads of parts of these because the tier 2 axes break fairly easy, but the great axes. They spray acid in the player in a single direction at, the, uh, at time to time. The best strategy to defeat them is circle around it when avoiding and avoiding the bubbly spots made previous attempts at shooting you with acid. The Bombardier Beetle is usually located in the north in, uh, northeastern portion of the starting map, and it drops Bombardier parts and explosive glands. You're going to want a lot of them parts, believe me. And then last but not least, moving on to the ladybug. The ladybug is a passive insect and only attacks when provoked. The ladybug is big enough to push around blades of glass and sometimes grass, not glass, blades, and sometimes acts to bulldozer knocking down grass and leaving grass planks, plant fibres and dry grass chunks behind so the player can then harvest them. The ladybug also hunts the aphids. Aphids, you can also see them chasing or eating them, the romance of them. When killing, well, when killed, the ladybug provides ladybug parts and sometimes ladybug heads of crafting resources. Fighting them is not taken lightly though because the ladybug has a high health pool and a punishing long attack. It is easily capable of killing an unprepared player. I have been killed by these before when I started the game. They are a bastard. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. This has been the Insect Guide. If you do enjoy this video, please drop a like comment on the video let me know what you want to see in the future and if you could subscribe to the channel help me grow my community that would be very very much appreciated i love you all peace out and goodbye